So I arrived there, and does anyone know <laughs> Westford? Yes. Do you know how know. sort of windy it is and one-way streets and so forth? And eventually I found it. Uh, the hostel, and the door was wide open. Now, I went up, rang, rang the bell, and there was, there was no reply. So I realised that the place had been closed down or something like that, but the door was open. I thought, this is a bit strange. So anyway, I just left that behind, and I went and looked for a B&B. And the first place in my Lonely Planet guide, uh, they were full up, I didn't have room, and then she suggested two other places, so I had a look at those, and then I saw this third place. So I walked up the road, and I came across this B&B, and knocked on the door, and there was space. And it was as if the woman in the house there was expecting me, because her name was the same as mine, uh, Micha Hein was her name, and Katrina, and she said, you're welcome. And I said, oh, thanks very much. I didn't. And she said, oh, I got an email today to say that you were coming down for some workshops tomorrow. Oh, and she spoke to me in Irish, and I, I didn't expect that at all. But anyway, I just felt I was in the right place. And the name of this place was Kusno, which means beehive. But another meaning for that is um, lucky find. So that's kind of my tenuous link to, to dream like. <laughs> <laughs> Getting back to Watford and these, these three brothers. They were transported um, after making amazing escapes from courthouses and jails, and the court case was thrown out, and the song that's associated with them um, features the, the court case. So they were transported, three of them, and the song goes along and sort of talks about hopefully they'll come back from New South Wales, from Sydney, where they were. But I was out in Sydney not so long ago, and discovered that these three brothers made good. Has anyone been to Sydney or to Newtown? Newtown in Sydney, that's, is that where you're from? <laughs> that's where these three brothers, or two of them anyway, settled, and they were buried there. So they made actually good. So kind of interesting, the link between property and landlords and developers, I suppose, and people being thrown off the land and hard times. It goes back, this has gone back to um, uh, 1830s or, or thereabouts. So, um, I'll sing a few verses of those songs and that'll be the end of my story for tonight. Mm. <laughs> Marshi the Yarvi Lar Hushtadi Yam Chur Farshil Sahirna Kanaris Harna Farigi Dis the New South Wales. And this is the verse about the court case. <laughs> <laughs> Mother <laughs> Wales. 
Oh, it's the new South Wales. 